Um, yeah. Um, the I get on really, really well with my lawyer. Je m'entends très, très bien avec mon, mon avocat. But the certain things that I just thought were under the bridge and finished, il y avait certaines choses que je pensais avaient largement été finies, achevées, achevées. And yeah, it was just time to review and check my personal statement. Alors c'était vraiment le bon moment effectivement de vérifier, de jeter un coup d'œil sur mon, enfin, mon témoignage. And there's just loads of stuff missing that she, she does know about. Like in brackets, in bold, it's like, can you fill this in? And what time was this? And when did this happen? Alors, il y a beaucoup de choses qui manquaient, uh, dont je lui ai déjà parlé. And I'm just a bit like, I shouldn't have to be dealing with this at this stage in the proceedings. Alors, je ne devrais pas m'en occuper à cette étape du processus. And you know, I'm kind of in a bit of a down place at the moment, physically, anyway. Alors, je suis un tout petit peu déprimé physiquement, because of pain and things, um, à cause de la douleur, and the person who made my pain feel better, you know, I've told you I've made that a bit complicated, la personne effectivement qui soulageait ma douleur, effectivement moi je l'ai compliqué, j'ai quand même compliqué les choses, and um, um, yeah, and I'm just really stressed about that, and I'd have loved to have seen them this week, to sort of you know, have a coffee and then just get this done while I was with them or something, just to hang out and to do this. Alors, j'aurais bien aimé les voir. But, you know, they're really busy this week. Alors, ils sont super occupés cette semaine. So, in, in other words, the last thing I need is for somebody to be asking me like it was the first time I spoke to them, comme si c'était la première fois que je leur ai parlé, what happened on such and such night. Alors, ce qui s'est passé telle, telle nuit. It's just amateur. Um, um, and I really, really, really love the person concerned. You know, she's a great person. I enjoy her. She's been so efficient in the process up until now. Alors, elle, est, elle a été hyper efficace uh, avec le processus jusqu'à maintenant. I've even complimented her on, as well as the legal stuff, how she's made me feel very safe. Alors, je lui ai dit qu'à part au niveau légal, qu'effectivement, que je, je me sentais largement très protégée. So I'm not happy about this. Alors, it's really rank amateur, really, because it's information that she's already been given. It's like, when did you take the pill? What? When did your leg start? When did your leg start hurting? Quand, quand est-ce que tu as pris les pilules? Pilules. Quand est-ce que tu as commencé à avoir mal aux jambes? And I'm like, are you joking? And also, it's not like she was writing it down. Ce n'est pas comme si elle l'écrivait. Enfin, she. It was vocally recorded. C'était enregistré. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just a bit like, oh shit, I don't mean to bring crap to people's door, but Luke is not happy, you know? Um, and yeah, and the person I always used to speak to about this kind of thing, alors la personne avec qui je parlais de ce genre de choses, it's just now not as easy to speak to them. Alors ce n'est pas aussi facile de leur en parler, which I would have really, really liked. Um, uh, I would have really liked. Good, so off we go. Nathan, um, uh, um, Sarah's just told me that her son was dying of laughter when he was listening to our class. Sarah vient de me dire que son fils C'était mort, mort de rire. C'était quand il entend nos, notre cours. Go again, make it sound human, not in a lesson. Sarah vient de, de me dire Viande que... Vient. Vient. Sarah vient de me dire Sarah que... ou Sarah? Sarah vient de me dire que son fils était mort de rire quand il entend de notre cours. Quand il écoutait notre cours. Ou quand, quand il a écoutait. entendu notre cours. Yeah. Good. Claire. Um, Claire, um, Sarah thinks I'm a son of a bitch, but after listening to her class, 
she realizes I was right. And I always get messages like, oh my God, I hate myself. I can't believe I said that 19 times. I'm like, yes. So Sarah thinks I'm a son of a bitch, but after listening to her class, she sends me messages saying, you were right. Claire. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, so Sarah thinks I'm a son of a bitch. Uh, Sarah thinks uh, que je suis une putain. Good, uh, je suis fils de pute. Fils de pute. Oh. Uh, fils de pute. <laughs> Puta would be a whore. I'm not a whore. Oh, right. Feast of Puta. Okay, okay. Um, um, God, I bloody wish. I should go, I should go back to whoring. Um, <laughs> you know, Sarah pense, Sarah pense que je suis fils de pute. Oh, je suis un fils de pute. Lovely. Um, uh, but after listening to her class, she sends me messages. Mais after... Oh, <laughs> mais après avoir écouté de son... son après avoir cours, écouté... Après avoir écouté son... Sa cours. Après avoir écouté son... Son cours. Son cours. Son cours. She's not listening to her body, is she? She's listening to the class. Oui, je pense. Après avoir écouté son cours... Good. Uh, elle me dit... Non, elle m'a... Could you come a little bit close to the mic microphone? Elle m'a envoyé un message... Elle a dit que uh, tu es d'accord. So, uh, she always, save me, she always sends me messages. How do you say she always sends me messages? Elle m'envoie toujours le message. She, what's the present, she sense. sends, present tense. Elle m'envoie. Elle m'envoie. Present no, tense. Elle m'envoie. What's the short form of manger, Claire Bear? Ange. What's the short form of danser? Don't. What's the short form of tué? Tué, two. What's the short form of baiser? Baiser. What's, what's the short form of envoyer? Envoie. That's it. Side note, modern French allows Y-E as well as I-E. I like I-E. Yeah, so verbs which are Y-E-R, so nettoyer. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Essayer. I think it's nicer to write them the old way, which is like, for example, E double S A I E. Yeah. But now, formally, since the spelling changes that which took place, um, you can write them with a Y. But yeah. Okay. Good. So Sarah sends. Sarah always sends me messages. Sarah m'envoie toujours un message. What word is coming before message? Des messages. Good, well done. That was lovely. Okay. Uh, saying uh, that she's realized I'm right. Uh, Disease. Saying. Saying. Uh, en, en, en disant. Yes, but you don't even need the on, just disant. Uh, yes, disant. okay. Or qui dis, which messages which say, she's realized I'm right. Elle a rendu compte ah, que tu es Reflexive. Elle t'a rendu compte. Elle Reflexive. Reflexive. Elle, elle s'est rendu compte. Reflexive in the past has which auxiliary? Etre. You've been excelling with this recently, so don't mess up. She, she realizes elle s'est... Elle s'est rendu compte. Lovely. Nice accent. That I was right. That I was right. Uh, que j'étais d'accord. No. No. Que j'avais... J'avais d'accord. Save me, I'm right. J'ai raison. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. I thought you said it was going... I can't hear you, Claire. Can you come close to the microphone? Sorry, I was going... It was agreed with. Sorry, that's wrong. I, oh, I know what you were doing. I figured I was right. Yeah. J'avais... Uh, J'avais raison. Good. Good. Brendan, put your face on camera, my love. I can only see the top of your hair. I mean, to be fair, I can see the bit you've had cut, but um, I can't see all of you. Lovely. Lovely. Um, Brendan, as beautiful as you are, your beams are fucking nice. So could you just pop the, the blur off so I can at least enjoy your wood while you're talking to me? Pardon the expression. Knock your blur off so we can enjoy the beams. I'm Nick, not sure how to. I just want to... 
I don't um, know why it's done that. Are you on computer or are you on uh, laptop? Are you on phone? I'm on a tablet. Yeah, so normally if you're on a phone, oh, I can't bring it up if I'm on this one at the same time. Um, 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 still driving. Um, one second, I'm still driving. Um, uh, Um, um, uh, where am I going? Um, so is it under view? No, is it under there? No, invite? No, got it so easy on the um, more, it's under more, take snapshot, change background send link to only fans oh that's just a direct thing i set up uh uh turn i think it's under i think it's under change background if you go to that is it under change background i think so oh i see it's like a picture option rather than on the tablet it's got um turn off turn off turn off turn off it's got a slide bar yeah so if you go to the bottom brendan and you go to the bottom right and you click on more then change back yeah that's it you've done it not that nice a beam on here, actually, but. Say that again. It's not that nice a beam. They've come downstairs, it's cool, and there's only like a tiny window because it's a laundry room. I used to teach somebody, and I used to work my ass off for this person, and I literally painted beams, wooden effect, with brown paint and black paint, and rubbing them in and fakely doing the grain in the wood. That is how hard I used to care for somebody and then they absolutely went batshit crazy asked me to join an instagram group for their son's kitten asked my friend who lived in kensington to join an instagram group for this bloody kitten this person is not inherently evil just dangerous through being daft and lonely and then um like literally then used to message my best mate at the time who i'd gotten into um, rehab and saved her life by getting her to Cottonwood in Arizona and she used to this person used to and she'd met for 19 minutes in Hyde Park the ones and she sent this person a message saying like um, oh I'm going to come and see you when I'm in London but don't tell Luke because he's a terrible person. it was like uh, Luke's kind of saved my life and got me into rehab I've, I've known you for 19 minutes who the hell are you so when I see beams I am slightly traumatised but um, oh you know, I do, I do, um, I do like a beam. I do like a beam. Uh, lovely. So, Brendan, so save me. Luke asked me to turn off the settings because the image was blurry. Blurry? Trouble. Trouble. Luke asked me to turn Ooh. off the settings because the image was blurry. So say foo as well for blurry. You Something can. Like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Luke, um, Luke m'a demandé si... No, 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 Luke m'a demandé to turn off. What, which preposition comes after demandé? You're going to ask someone to do a verb. Luke m'a demandé... Uh, Luke m'a demandé de... Thank you. Turn off. What's the verb to turn off? Et, et, et tiendre Look at le... me. Look at me. Do not remember consonants. Remember vowels. What is the vowel journey? Eh, uh, uh. Let me hear it. Eh, uh, uh. Eh, uh. Which is also the vowel noises you will make when my sharp stick goes up your jacksy. Uh, eh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've told you. Go on. Eh, uh. It will. I'm bored of teaching you this verb. Save me. Etendre. Etendre. Good. The settings. Le, les paramètres. Les paramètres or les réglages. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Um, Lovely. So that he can see my beam, we we'll say rather than wood. So that he can see my beams. So that he can see my beams. Porky. Porky link. Porky please um, I've given you the word already uh, today, linguist. Listen. So far, my darling, we're up as far as head lice. Mais pou. I shouldn't imagine you've got a lot of head lice, having had a nice short back and sides, but maybe 
Mais poutre. Poutre. Uh, lovely. OK? Lovely. Good. Luc m'a demandé d'éteindre ou de changer les paramètres, les réglages pour pouvoir ou pour qu'il pour qu puisse um, voir uh, mes poutres. Lovely. Nathan. I was talking about you with somebody else this week and they said he's a handsome man. I was talking about you with, we also thought you're too young to cover your beautiful face with a beard. Off you go. So save me. I was talking about you with somebody else this week and they said He's a handsome man. Je parlais de toi avec quelqu'un d'autre et nous avons parlé qu'il est. Nous avons parlé, non, non, non. Et nous avons dit, non, non, and they et nous avons dit, ils ont dit qu'il est un handsome man. Et ils ont dit qu'il est un mec. No, stand still. <laughs> What? Actually, this one's broken. I fell over in my friend's class to um three weeks oh, ago no. landed on my hand quite skillfully um but the fingers broken <coughs> um, a man what is a man a mom what is it grammatically Gramma uh, a noun. how do we introduce a noun with he is c'est un bon That is not my question. How do we introduce a noun with he is? Just answer me that bit first. See. Good. Have I told you that many times? Yes. How do we say a beautiful man, a handsome man? En bel homme. En bel homme? Are we, are we now doing en? Are we, are we, are we, are we joining, you know, another region? Am I going to shake it? En? Say me, a beautiful man, en bel homme. En bel homme. Good. En bel homme. Tom's sex noise, en. En bel homme. Go on. En bel homme. Good. Lovely. Alors, je parlais de toi cette semaine avec quelqu'un et on a dit, alors, c'est un bel homme. Ils ont dit, c'est un bel homme. OK. But he should lose the beard. He's too young. Mais il devrait perdre sa barbe parce qu'il est trop jeune. Good. You have the rest of your life to camouflage les défauts faults. So you have the rest of your life to camouflage a bad face. Now you should enjoy it. Il te reste une vie entière de camouflage. Non, mais that's good. Il te reste une vie entière. Il te reste, you know, ta vie, toute, toute ta vie. So, the rest of your life, le reste de ta vie, obviously, but because you're using il te reste already, it would be a bit wanky wanky, wouldn't it, to say il te reste le reste de ta vie. So, you know, il te reste toute ta vie, yeah, uh, to save me, um, to camouflage your uh, face. De camoufler ton visage. Pour camoufler. Pour camoufler ton visage. Lovely. Come on, I want the whole thing from you guys. I don't like little bit, little bit, little bit. Come on. Il te reste une vie entière pour camoufler ton visage. Good. And now you should enjoy it. Il te reste toute la vie pour camoufler le visage. And now you should enjoy it. I don't mean you should enjoy the <laughs> sentence. I mean translate <laughs> And now you should enjoy it. Go on. Et maintenant. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, et maintenant, tu devrais te profiter. No. Tu profiter. No. Not every verb with on is reflexive. Et maintenant, tu devrais en profiter. Thank you. What is the command form of enjoy it with profiter? Profitant. Not profit. Tant, is it, yeah? Okay. Profitant. Oui, alors, je parlais de toi cette semaine avec quelqu'un. Ils ont dit, non, 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 c'est un bel homme, mais il ne devrait pas camoufler euh, tout le visage. Il est trop jeune. Il a le reste de sa vie pour camoufler euh, ses problèmes, ses défauts. Lovely. Um, I'm... Uh, Claire, I'm used to seeing Tom do this. While we're working, I'm used to seeing Tom do this while we're working. It's his concentration phase. It's the same when we make love. He does this. Yeah. Okay. I'm used to seeing Tom. I'm used to seeing Tom um, doing this whilst um, he, we, we're working. Off you go, Claire. Your mic is off. 
Stop buying time, Claire. Your mic is off. Stop buying sorry, time. Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop buying time. Sorry. If you think about it, buying time. I should give you a new sentence. Off you go. Uh, je me suis habitué de pause, 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 pause. We've spoken about status versus process. I got used to is the process. I am used to is the status. I am used to is not je me suis habitué, rather je suis je suis habitué. Lovely. Or je suis habitué, not habitué. Or j'ai l'habitude de. Both will work, yeah? Status versus process. We've spoken about that before, aren't we? Yeah. I think I'm, so I'm used to seeing Tom do this um, uh, with je his hand uh, while we're working. Je me suis habitué de. No, you've just gone through the process. Oh, sorry, I want sorry, status. Sorry. Je suis habitué de voir Tom. Je suis habitué. Uh, de... Which preposition? We have done it. Je suis habitué. Ah. That's it. Non. Avoir l'habitude de être habitué à. All right. Je suis habitué de Tom. Oi! Linguist, listen. I've just bloody told you. Which preposition comes after ah. habitué? Ah. Back we go. So don't learn it, Claire Bear. Sing it. Habitué à. Learn the throw. Don't do, oh, it takes a, ah. learn the throw. Well, je suis habitué, carry on. I'm used to seeing Tom do that or doing it. Off you go. Je suis habitué à Tom faire ça. Stand, stand, stand. I'm used to seeing Tom doing it. Oh, oh, Just sorry. give me Je suis habitué à voir Tom faire ça. Good, well done, because voir is a verb of perception and we don't need any clever schmepper clever do we well j'ai l'habitude de le voir faire telle 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 chose whatever 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 j'ai l'habitude de le voir je suis habitué à le voir faire ça good whilst we're working while we're working uh oh no uh, we have done this many times pendant can go here but what word comes after it <coughs> Which word comes after pendant if I'm going to go here? If I'm going to go with the person doing a verb? Button. We've done this, Claire Bear. Naughty. Naughty, know, naughty, naughty. I've told you guys this and I've even given you the video. Words which use k if you've then got a person doing a verb as opposed to words which don't use the k if you've not got a person. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm panicking, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. My life's not exactly easy. Suck it up. What have I just told you? Pondon has what after it if it's got a verb? A subjunctive. No. Okay. What comes after pondon if I'm going to a verb? What word did I tell you it needs if it's got a verb after it? Two. Good. Get this into yourselves, guys. I've told you this before. There are many words that you add a cur if you then go into a person doing something. All right? So, during Christmas, pendant Noël, during the holidays, pendant les vacances, whilst I was talking to Claire, pendant que je parlais à Claire, yes? Yeah. All right? Go again, then. So whilst we're working. Uh, je suis habitué à Tom faire ça. Pendant... I can't hear you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Sing. Sorry. Je suis habitué à Tom faire ça pendant que... So I'm used to seeing Tom do it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to voir. Je suis habitué à voir Tom faire ça pendant qu'il... Euh, pendant... En grand. Pendant, followed by what? Uh, que. Then we work. Pendant que. Nous travaillons. Nous travaillons. And again, just the last bit, go from pendant. Pendant que nous travaillons. Now with the lorsque. Uh, lorsque que nous travaillons. Don't hide. Sing me a vowel. Sing forward. Lorsque que nous travaillons. Lorsque's already got a cut. 
Correct okay. idea, well done, well done. But it's already got the K, hasn't it? Los K. It's already it got the K. Los K. Los K. Don't need Los K. Okay, that's it. Los K. Lovely. Other words which use the K. Well, I should tell you to watch the video. Petetro uses K when it's got a person doing something after it. Los K. Maintenant K. Depuis K. Since the beginning. Depuis le début. Depuis le commencement. Since um, Claire started. Depuis que Claire a commencé. Yeah? Um, Without, plus a, a person doing a verb, sans que, that one's got a subjunctive, yeah? All right, good. Don't get flustered, stay focused. Que on these words, we've been over these words, people. If you can't find the video again, tell me, I shall find it for you. I distinctly remember sticking it in the, um, in the group. Um, uh, Brendan, I remember when I posted, same verb, this video. I remember when I posted this video. Je me souviens de le temps quand j'ai... Stand still. Je me souviens de le temps où we come what? Du temps. Je me souviens okay, du temps. I didn't want that. I remember when. I remember when. Je me souviens de quand j'ai... I told you. Same verb. Cette... I posted this video. J'ai posté cette vidéo. Good, close your mouth. Je me souviens de quand j'ai posté cette vidéo. Je me souviens de quand j'ai posté cette vidéo. Good. Which video? Uh, Laquelle? La, la Which quelle? video? Oh, uh, quelle vidéo? Thank okay. you. Which one? Laquelle? Say it, say it normally, laquelle. The one yeah. you all need the one you will need so good <laughs> oh, if you use so... k for need there is only one way out and that way out will have already linked the k say for yeah. me you need the video in two different ways please I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Video. You need the video. Sing for me. Il nous, il, il nous faut la video. I tell you off every week for making first person, second person, the way around. You need the video. Sing it for me. You need the video. Il. Il te faut la video. No. Il te Plural. faut la. Talk about, about you oh. lot, not just you. Il. Uh, okay, il vous faut la video. Good. Red, blue, or green? Uh, that's green. Yes, it is. Guacamole. I've sunk that low. I'm eating guacamole with my finger. This is a little bit left. Mm. My lovely friend's allergic to guacamole. Well, to uh, avocado generally. Um, I went five years and all I rubbed into my face was sun cream and avocado oil. I looked amazing then. Avocado is brilliant. A friend of mine told me that if you've got a really, no, they told my mom that if you've got a really old razor, a bit of avocado oil, and like, God, it was amazing. Get sort of, yeah, you can use, I don't mean like some vintage Victorian razor. I mean, as in like, it's probably time for a new razor, but you, you know, yeah. I tell you another hint that my grandpa told me, which was so, so good, is he's like, people always run razors under a warm tap and it makes the metal soft while you're shaving. He said, put warm water on your face and then run it under a cold tap and it keeps the metal super hard. Otherwise it bends with your face too much. That has set me in good stead. Um, good. Um, so in other words, say for me, um, the video you need using Besoin and the video you need using so. Off you go, Brendan. Okay. Uh, the video que vous avez besoin. Stand vous still. En, I'm not en... happy and I've done this pricking thing to death, Brendan. Say for me, you need the video using Besoin. Go back to the normal route. I've done this. Go on. Uh, vous avez besoin de video. The video, let me hear you. Vous avez besoin de... 
Vous avez besoin de la vidéo. Good. Red, blue or green there? That's the red. Good. Can you use cut in a bloody red sentence? No. I mean this, you guys all need this down. You need this down. Yeah? Je, tu, crap is great. Top six, bottom six is great, but you need, and I've been over this umpteen times. Je mange le gâteau, le gâteau que je mange. Da, 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 da. Do you acknowledge one more about Brendan? Yeah. Je parle de la personne, la personne dont je parle, je, je parle de la situation, la situation dont je parle. J'en parle, we've been over that, haven't we? Je parle, mm -hmm. je pense à la situation, j'y pense, la situation à laquelle je parle. We've been over that, haven't we? So just go and watch uh, yes. a red, blue, green video because I'm getting a bit cross. So in other words, what is a reversed green? A k. What is reversed red? A don. Those are your two situations. Say for me, the cream I using besoin, which is reversed red. I think you're saying the cream I need. La, la crème dont j'ai besoin. Save me the video you need using besoin. La video dont vous avez besoin. Right. Say for me, the cream you need using il vous faut. Which is a green? Uh, How do we reverse the green? Uh, la crème, ce que... Brendan! Ce qui... La crème, ce qui... Brendan, I'm cross. I'm cross. I'm cross. Look at the green fella because you've done them. I don't mean to be horrible, but we have done this to death. This has not been already practiced. This has not been already practiced. If it's been already practiced, it would be in your damn gob. Il mange le gâteau. Subject, object. Il mange le gâteau. Subject, object, pronoun. Il le mange. Object, subject. Le gâteau qu'il mange, que il mange. Agreed? What is your relative pronoun of choice when you flip a green? What was the word we just used in the middle? Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, il vous faut pff, la crème. That is green. Agreed? What have we just agreed is the relative pronoun when you have a green in reverse? Uh, What's the word you've just given me? I think I said sucker. Y yes, but what should it be for a relative pronoun in a green? Sir. Uh, Great. Sucker is that which. What? When it's not a question. We've done this, Bren Bren. So say for me, the cream I need using... The cream you need, need il vous faut. Uh, la crème que il And now vous link. Faut. La crème qu'il vous faut. Good. You will get on top of Robbie's video that I've done this week and you will not mess me around with this again. <coughs> I don't mean this rudely, but how many times have I been through one of those? Hmm? Which of the red, the blue, and the green do your mouths want to use all the time? Which do I use all the time? Now, which do your yeah, mouths, guys, generally, which ones do you want to use all the time, do you think? Red, red answers, blue answers, or green answers? Green answers. Yeah, you always want to use sucker, you always want to use lulale, you always want to use keska. You always, they're the most common ones, they're not correct. There will be a test on this next bloody week, so get this under your belt. I mean it. Not doing this again. <clears throat> um, uh, who's next? Nathan. Um, we should watch the video I've just done with Robbie. The one I'm talking about. We should watch the video I've just done with Robbie. The one I'm talking about. Nous devrions voir la vidéo que j'ai fait avec Robbie, laquelle no! dont j'ai parlé. Which letter do we point with in French, Nathan? Um, ça. Which letter? Listen to Auntie Lukey, which letter? Um, which letter? Which letter? I need a letter. Um, I don't, let's I'm go back confused. To, let's go back to Sesame Street. A, B, 
run through the letters. Which letter, which, when I point in French, which letters, letters did the word involve? C. Thank you. Understand the sentence, which letter? Hmm? Which letter do I point with in French? One more time. C. Thank you. The one is pointing. It is a demonstrative pronoun. The one I'm talking about. What's that going to be? Cell. Thank you. How would you say the video I'm talking about? Which is a red la, reverse. La vidéo dont je parle. Now would you say for me the one I'm talking about? Celle dont je parle. Thank you. How offensive to my entire personage is laquelle there? Have we done this shit offensive. today? Mm -hmm. Come on. I don't care anymore if the internet think I'm a wanker. I just don't care. I don't care. They don't know how many times I've done this with you. They don't know how many times I've sent you this stuff. They don't know how many times, whatever. Okay? Link, 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 and you'll remember it. Link, and you'll remember it. Okay? Good. Um, so, save me. Um, it would do you some good to watch it. It would do you some good to watch it. Nathan. Il te faut... Listen to me. Have a coffee before our class. It would do you some good. There are more. In English, the verb fuck, finger, similar, I accept. Um, uh, fiddle. OK, we're going down a dodgy. But, um, feather. Um, fathom. They're all F verbs. Yep. Frolic, frolic, um, um, you know, they're all F words. These words are not the same verb. What's the verb to do? Fair. It's got bugger all to do with faloir. Say for me, it would do you some good. Ça te ferait bien de some le good. faire. Some good. Ça te ferait du bien de le some faire. Some good. What's the word that's going to go before bien? De bien. De bien. No, why? How are you spelling the word de there? D-E. Why would that be there? Is, is it is it du bien? Tell me why. Why was it de there? How could I put de there? The only time I can use de is like quelque chose de bien, you know, something, you know, that's the only time I could, you know, but like, no, du bien, some good. We're using bien as a noun. Some we know is the partitive article. Du, 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 yeah, du bien. Okay, ça te ferait du bien. Ça te ferait du bien. Ferait not ferait. Ça te ferait du bien. Joined. Ça te ferait du bien. If it was faire, then I wouldn't need to spell it any differently, would I? I could just write F-A-I. I could just write it the normal way. How do we spell the future, the verb to do and make, Nathan? F-E-R. Good. Is it written like the normal verb? No. So therefore, ça te ferait du bien, yes? Ça te ferait du bien. Good. And again. Ça te ferait du bien. Lovely. Um... So it would do you some good to watch it. Go. Ça te ferait du bien de le voir. De la voir. De la regarder, because I said watch rather than see. All right? Good. Claire. Um, when I'm no longer here, my videos will be a source of pleasure and joy. Je <laughs> suis... Uh, no. Don't hide in the back of your throat. It sounded nice and then it sounded nothing. <laughs> when I'm no longer here, hang out on the word, Claire. Quand je suis... Hang the fuck out. I don't mind. Off you go. Quand je suis ne, ne pas ici. Stand still. What is no longer? We've done this. What is I smoke? Je fume. Nice accent, nice vowel. What is I don't smoke? Je ne fume pas. What is I don't smoke anymore? Je ne suis pas plus. Je ne fume. Je, je ne fume pas plus. No, just it's. Je ne fume pas. Sorry. 
Je ne fume I don't plus. smoke anymore. Je ne fume plus. Thank oh. you. Does Pat and Plu come in? Do Pat and Plu come in together? Uh, no. You just Plu. That's right. Say for me, he doesn't work anymore. What right about you, Brendan? Say for me, he doesn't work anymore. Il ne travaille plus. Mm -hmm. And again? Il ne travaille plus. Good. Um, lovely. Say for me, Claire, um, Tom is on holiday this week. He's in Greece. Tom is on holiday this week. He's in Greece. Uh, Tom is on France. Tom is, Tom is on Look France. at me. Look at me. Look at me. I am not the Disney buddy you all make me out to be. I keep giving you a place to hang out safely. Do not stop the previous word. Keep saying it. On the vowel, I do not want... Okay. Off you go. Tom isn't here this week. He's in Greece. Go on. Uh, Tom est en vacances cette uh, semaine. No, 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 Claire, 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 listen, because Luke is going to get fucking pissed off. If you feel confident and you go, Tom, you need back up, that's gorgeous, my girl. That's brilliant. But don't then let the speed of that then make you go, parce qu'il est, um, parce, so, 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 so. you're then repeating stuff. Tom, you need yeah. so Even if you are going quickly, it should have a linear vowel feeling. Tom, you need pas en vacances cette semaine. And you went, said, so, so, so. So, yeah. set, so how much of the word set, Claire, can I say if I'm not sure of the next word? Set. And keep it going for me. Set. So, don't be on vacances, semaine. How much of the word semaine can I say, Claire, if I'm not sure of the next word? Semaine. Keep it going. How much can I say? Semaine. That's it. That is the word for week as far as you're concerned. And the join or the end of the sentence is the no. Start thinking like that. I do not want a repetition or anything cutting off. Off you go. Uh, Tom est en vacances cette semaine en Grec Grèce. Lovely. Um, he sent me lots of naked photographs. <laughs> I said, wow, it's like ancient Greece. He sent me lots of naked photographs. Uh... Il m'a envoyé beaucoup de photos nues. Good. Yeah, or tout nu. Fine, okay. Um, I placed them, photos are feminine. I placed them with those Stuart sent me. I placed them with those Stuart sent me. Those. Which letter, see if you've been watching Sesame Street, unlike Nathan, which letter does... Which letter sponsors uh, when we point in French? C. Lovely. I, sorry, Stuart sent me photos. Red, blue or green? Stuart sent me photos. Uh, green. Good, because there ain't no at or de. And what is a reversed green? The most common relative pronoun of them all. Your favourite word? Don. Okay. That isn't the getting it in the right place in the brain, Claire, is it? That's just guessing because I look fucked off. Red, yes. blue, give me a red sentence of your choice. Give me a green sentence of your choice and give me a blue sentence of your choice. Uh, le photo que... No, 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 no. Stuart, That's no. gorgeous, but just for the minute, give me the first one. So, like, just give me the top line, as in somebody, verb, and then the, the object. So, the object at the end. So, so off you go. So, give me, give me a red sentence first. Starting with the um, person doing the verb, give me a red sentence. Which preposition has it got to contain? Preposition. Which I'm, preposition I'm does it contain if it's red? Which preposition? Don. No. Oh, sorry, I'm confused. Um, Don't do me this toddler shit because we've done this to sorry, death. Very slowly, very slowly and in your class. Which preposition do we use to make it red? Person, verb, blank, object. Je parle 
Which preposition needs to come next if we're in a red sentence? Um, que? That's not a preposition then. No, that's not a preposition. Donk. We've come full circle. Give I'm me sorry. a preposition, any preposition in language. Give me any preposition in French. Ah. Huh? Good. Give me another one. Que? Thank you. Which preposition? Give me another one. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm having a mental blank. To, uh... No, I, I, I don't go in for this. Work. No. Come on. Um... What's a preposition? Something that comes before a noun. To, from. Give me another one. Whip. Avec. Good. Another one. For, for... Don. No, stop. Fuck off. In. You don't. I'm bored. Oh, well, don't. Don. No, in. Use in. in. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What's the word for four? Poor. Good job. Say it for me in French, though not in Spanish. Poor. 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 These poor. are prepositions. Who are the king and the queen of the prepositions? Which two are the main ones? At and do. Thank you. Give me a green sentence, which means no preposition between the verb and the person. Uh, um, no preposition between the verb and the person. No. So je, verb Le of your choice. Object of your uh, choice. You need to listen to the same damn videos that Brendan has been given, given, and you've done them. What is our sample, Claire? Green sentence. Je mange. Je mange le pomme. La pomme. Je mange what, pomme. What do we always go with? Fuck apple. We always go with je mange le gâteau. Je mange le gâteau. Gorgeous. Why the is it the green sentence? Mange. Because you go straight from the subject to the That's gorgeous. object. If I were to reverse a green sentence, what does reverse mean? It means start with the object. What's the object in je mange le gâteau? What is the object? Le gâteau. Spot on, Claire. So start me my sentence with le gâteau. What do I then need to say to say the cake I eat? What would that be? Le gâteau. Que je mange. Gorgeous. So I'll ask you again. What is my relative pronoun? What is my reverse word when I'm in a green? It is the word. Que. Thank you. All right. What is my reverse word when I'm in a red? What preposition is sat? Or which preposition rather is sat in the middle of a red sentence? Which one? I generally don't. That is not the preposition. No. That is a de. relative pronoun. De. Which is the king of the prepositions you've just told me? De. De. Thank you. Sorry. OK, I want you to remember which which sentence do I always give you on the red ones? Je, pa Je parle de la situation. It's almost as if I've done it to death. Yeah. Then we so we go subject, object. Je parle de la situation. Jean-Paul, which is the pronoun, isn't it? The replacement yeah. word for the situation. Do you get that that's called the pronoun, yeah? Yeah. Then we have relative pronoun, which is relating a verby idea to something else. The woman who lives in Australia, the man I know, the photos Nathan sent me on WhatsApp. They are relating whichever way but loose a thing or a human being, we don't care, to another verbal idea. The beam, Bren Bren showed us. The beard, Nathan's going to keep nice and short. The face, we think is nice. Yet we don't need the same words that are going to go in the middle there. We want to say k every bastard time, don't we? But it won't always be k. Because if the original sentence was d, What's the swap to dirt? What's the dirt the other way around? Now you can use the word you keep trying to bleed in use. What word can you go through there? Donc, la situation dont je parle. On is a pronoun. Don is a swap. On is a replacement. Don is where you're not replacing anything. Now let's go to the third one, Claire. What's the preposition sat in the middle of a blue one? Pensez à. Thank you. What's the replacement for an à? Not the swap. So je pense uh -huh. à la situation. What word is going to take the place of à and la situation? Which one word is going to swap for the à? What's that word? Uh, auquel. La situation auquel je pense. Is that a swap? No, or is no, that no, no. 
listen to et, me. Et, 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 yes, j'y pense. Listen. Je pense à la situation, la situation à laquelle je pense, have I gotten rid of the word la situation? No. Was it still there? Yeah. No. So is that therefore a relative pronoun relating the situation to a verb, the situation I'm thinking of, um, you three on a pyre burning, or <laughs> is it, or is it a, a pronoun, an object pronoun swap for the, I, mean, I think of it. So if I wanted the pronoun of ah, what's the pronoun of ah going to be? E. Thank the you. Do you see sheeple. the difference? All yes, right. yes. They're all blue, they're all red, they're all green, but you've got the top three. Let's not even test my patience to go to the what and the non-what. All right. So basically, go for me, Claire, the situation I'm thinking of. Yeah, you're going to have um, the situation. You're going to have Auntie Lukey's five point star, which is not a photographic description of my asshole. It is a useful, useful, useful tool. Off you go. The situation I'm thinking of. La situation à la... Uh, la situation à laquelle... That's pense. it. That's it. That's it. All right. So these are different words. All right. Back to um, Nathan. Nathan, um, my friend Sam bought me a, a candle which made me laugh. Let's say the act of her buying me the candle made me laugh. My friend Sam bought me a candle which made me laugh. Mon ami Sam m'a acheté une bougie et ça m'a fait rire. Or, slightly more elegantly, mon ami Sam m'a acheté une bougie, refer to the previous idea. Ce, ce qui me fait rire. Ce qui, tense. Ce qui m'a fait rire. Good. My friend Sam sent me a candle that made me laugh. The candle made me laugh. What does it say? I wish when I pissed the situation at the wall three months ago by telling someone I really love. I wish I could take your pain and give it to someone we both really hate. Because <laughs> Sam's not a tall twee. So when I got this, I was like, what the shit? She doesn't send people candles. What the hell? Oh, and then I read it in full. Smells really nice. So off you go. So um, my friend Sam sent me a candle, which made me laugh, meaning the candle made me laugh. Off you go. Mon ami Sam m'a envoyé une bougie qui me fait qui m'a fait rire. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. Nathan. No, you've just done one. Uh, Brendan. My friend Sam sent me a candle which made me happy. I'd like you to use the word heureux on this occasion. My friend Sam sent me a candle which made me happy. The candle made me happy. Uh, ma, mon ami Sam... I can't hear you. Come close to the microphone and don't growl. Mon ami Sam... Mon, pardon. Mon ami Sam m'envoyé... Uh, sent me is an action. Oui, mon, pardon. Mon ami Sam m'a envoyé un bougie ce qui me rend heureux. Why? Why? Why must I? Why can't they just pick stuff up the first time? It's not my shortcoming, I've told you. Which, as demonstrated by Nathan, which word do we use to refer to the previous idea? Which words? Which word do we use to refer to the previous noun? Brendan. So uh, I think the key is for the previous idea. And which one to refer to the previous noun? A relative pronoun, because it's basically saying a candle that made me laugh. So it's basically, and which word is going to go there? Uh, no, key, key. Why? Because of the verb. What's the verb doing? The, the verb. Explain ki and ka in a nutshell. So when you go from the object... Don't, I don't hear the word object to, or subject. I don't hear the word subject or object. What uh, follows a key? If I've verb. just said lom key, what has to come on the right? A verb. 
Who's doing that verb? Uh, the, 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 the subject, the, the on. person on the left. Does key allow me to introduce anybody new? No. What word would need to go in its place if I were introducing somebody new to do the verb? Okay. It's that cunting simple, and we've done it since time memorial. All right. So my friend sent me a candle that made me laugh. What is making me laugh? The candle. So what word is going to come after bougie if we're then going to go to made me laugh? Uh, key. Why are you so in doubt? Why are you in doubt? My friend Sam sent my friend sent me a candle. Dear made me laugh. What's doing the making? The candle. Great. What word do I need between a thing and its verb that it's doing? He. Don't need it all the time. The candle makes made me laugh. La bougie m'a fait rire. Whatever. OK, we don't need to use the key. The candle which made me laugh. You know, the candle that made me laugh. La bougie qui m'a fait rire. Good. But I want my friend Sam sent me a candle which made me happy. All right. Off you go. Brendan. Mon ami Sam m'a envoyé une bougie qui... Une bougie, rend... Darth Click. Bougies move. <laughs> une bougie qui me rend erreur. Made, 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 past. Ma, qui m'a fait erreur. Made, past, with Rondra. Oh, qui, qui m'a... Pardon, qui m'a rendu erreur. Have we done this work before? Yes. Off you go. Claire. Uh, everybody confuses these two verbs. I'm sick of it. Uh, tout le monde confuse deux no, verbes. No, almost tout le monde confuse. What's the verb to confuse? Confui. Confui. No. You've made a hideous bastard chimera of two <laughs> things that do not belong together. Conduire, fuir, three things actually, or, and confondre, which is to melt together as in to confuse. So say for me, um, everybody confuses. What's the verb to, to confuse that we're talking about? Confondre. Oh. What verb have I just I told you? Confluir. Confluir? Claire. I'm sorry. I've just told you. I've just literally said you've just put together three things. Mm. And I just told you what those three things were. What were those three things I just told you that you put together? Wrongly that you put together. What three things did I tell you you just put together? Uh, confondre and... Good. Well done. That was the verb to confuse and melt together. Confuse. I told you that verb. What was the verb to flee that you also just included in there? Oh, confuse. Yeah, what verb did you use confuse. to flee that I just gave you? <laughs> confuse. No, 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 no. What verb yeah. to flee? Did, what's the verb to flee on its own that I've just given you? Uh, enflier. Enflier. I don't want... No, just fear. Just say fear. Fear. There yeah. is an enflier, but we're not using it. And s'enflier, but we're not using it. And good. And then what was the verb to drive that I just mentioned? Conduire. Good. Seven seconds ago, my darling, stay on top of it. So what's the verb I want to confuse? Confondre. Good. Work, work, work. OK, so say for me, um, everybody confuses these two verbs. Go. Uh, tout le monde confond les deux verbes. These two verbs? Uh, ces deux verbes. Pronunciation of verb? Verb. Better. Put it together. Tout le monde confond ces deux verbes. Don't expect it to be here next week or me if you don't join it together. Uh, tout le monde confond les deux, deux verbes. Ces deux verbes. Two verbs. Tout le monde confond ces deux verbes. Pronunciation of the last word. Verb. How many seconds ago, rhyming with Bevan, did I tell you the pronunciation of that word? Not long. Seven. Off you go. Everybody confuses these two verbs. Go, go. Tout le monde confondre les deux verbes. Confondre is the noun. What is the verb? 
Ao fundo. Confond. Yep, yeah, confond. Yep. Yeah. These two verbs. Tu le mot confond ces deux verbes. Last word. Yep. Yeah. And again. Tu le mot confond ces deux verbes. Slow down, slide appropriately. Tu le mot confond ces deux verbes. Prends hi en clair. Tu, tu le mot confond ces deux verbes. Nice. Gorgeous. Nathan. Um, I have to leave London Friday morning to go to the dentist. Je dois partir à Londres. No, I'm not leaving for London. I have to. Li I live in London. I need to leave London Friday morning to go to the dentist. Je dois partir de Londres le vendredi matin pour aller au dentiste. Yeah, ou chez le dentiste. Pour aller chez le dentiste. And again? Je dois partir de Londres le vendredi matin pour aller chez le dentiste. What is the word for morning? Matin. Do you think it makes me happy to hear matin from someone at your level? Go again. Je dois partir de Londres le vendredi matin pour aller chez le dentiste. And again? Je dois partir de Londres le vendredi matin pour aller chez le dentiste. Good. Um, um, it's annoying, but I like uh the people in question nathan it's annoying but i like the people in question c'est énervant que j'aime no it's not annoying but i like the people in question it's annoying but i like the people in question oh c'est énervant mais j'aime les personnes dont je parle or on question en okay. question although i did like the little relative pronoun in the red lovely um Um, it's going to take me an hour and a half to get there. Ça me fera... No. Go to the present tense. It takes me an hour. Just imagine the expression, it takes me an hour. Ça me fait no, an hour. No, you're a smart guy. You've just used ça and you've just used fe, and my face wasn't exactly a fucking picture, was it? So 12 seconds of calm later, do you think it's going to have morphed into ça and fe again? Unlikely. What is the expression? It takes me an hour. If you don't know, I'd rather you just say, I don't know, than say ça and fe. Uh, yeah, I'm not remembering. I can see. How do you say I need an hour? J'ai besoin d'une heure. No, not really. What do we use for nouns? Il me faut une heure. Thank you. We've been over this fella. Ça fait is how long you have been doing something that you still do. Il faut is how long it takes to do something, whether you are doing it right now or not. Yeah? Say for me, it takes me an hour from... No, say for me, it takes two hours from London to Paris. Il me faut deux heures yeah, de Londres à Paris. Yeah, 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 off you go. Il faut deux heures de Londres à Paris. Gorgeous. Say for me, I've been living in France for, let's just say two years, just to make it easier. I've been living in, no, let's just say two months, just a second. So I've been living in France for two months. Let's imagine you are still living in France for two months. Je vis en France depuis deux mois. Good. Or, which is the expression I've just asked you, I'd like you to use. Ça fait, which is why you're confusing that. Off you go. Ça fait deux mois que j'habite en France. See the difference? I've smoked for 10 years. Smoking is dumb and stupid. Please don't do it. Say for me, I've smoked for 10 years. Ça me fait dix ans que je fume. Ça, what? What's the word after ça? 
Ça me fait dix ans que je fume. Tuck your stars and stripes in. You've just said Sam Fay. I look pissed off. Why is it going to be Sam Fay five seconds later? You don't do dumb stuff like that. Why can't, can I use Sam Fay somewhere else in French? Of course I can. That makes me, that pisses me off. Sam Fay chier, for example. That makes me cry. Sam Fay pleurer, for example. What was the wording I just told you to use for something that you're still doing? Ça. What word goes there? Ça fait dix ans que je fume. Thank you. Did I say ça me fait? No. No. Can we have il faut? Yes. Can we have il me faut? Yes. But not the ça fait. That is a different expression. Okay. I've been living in France for two years. Ça fait deux ans que je... Okay, up he goes. I've been living in France for two months. Say, so make it two months. Ça fait deux mois que je habite en France. Good. It took me 24 hours to come here. Il m'a fait... We are going to divide two verbs. If we don't divide two verbs, we are going to divide your scrotum. Which would you like to see this many centimetres apart? Your ball sack or these two verbs? Faire, falloir. We're going to divide these two verbs. Ça fait, il faut. Il me faut if necessary. Not always, but if necessary. Ça fait, Il faut, faithful, 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 faithful. <laughs> okay, so I've been living in France for two years. Ça fait deux ans que j'habite en France. Isn't it funny how a vowel is better? Good. It took me. Il m'a fallu 24 heures de venir ici. How do you say four hours? Quat Four um, hours, how do we say four hours? Oh, I think it's 24 hours. Um, I know, but how do we say four hours? Quatre heures de venir ici. No, we don't. How do we say four hours? Quatre heures. Where's your dumbness come from? You're not dumb. You're one of my smartest people. You say something, you get it wrong. You then go again and say the same thing. That's not like you. You're one of my finest intellectual properties. Quatre heures, yes? Quatre heures. How do we pronounce an okay. R-E plus a vowel? How do we say four years? Quatre ans. There we go. How do you say four men? Quatre hommes. Lovely. Or Friday night, if you clear. How do you say four uh, objects? Quatre objets. You've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I've been I've been saying that long. Yeah. I've been saying that wrong for so long. I'm only now realizing. You haven't only now realised, you were told a few months ago well, by me. You're just only now remembering. But we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. I shall tell you when we did it. We then went on to do Sank, Cease, Wheat, Dees and all of that game. Yes? Save me five people. Cinq personnes. Oh, God, you cunts. Every single one of you is a capital K cunt. You really do test my page. None of you go over the work enough. Claire, please say five people. Cent percent. Good. Because personne starts with a consonant. B. That's it. How, Claire, do we say five objects, which starts with a vowel? How do we say five objects, Claire? Cinq objets. Gorgeous. How do we say six people, Claire? Six personnes. Gorgeous. Notice personne. Well done. As opposed to six objets. Eight and ten would do the same thing. Huit personnes, huit objets. Dix personnes, dix objets. Say them for me, Nathan. Cinq objets, six objets, huit objets, dix objets. Cinq personnes, six personnes, huit personnes, dix personnes. Cinq objets, six objets, sept objets, huit objets. No, 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 dix objets. So, cinq, six, huit, dix, go. Cinq, cinq objets, six, six objets, huit, huit objets, six, dix objets, cinq objets, cinq objets, six objets, huit objets, dix objets, cinq personnes, ah! cinq, cinq personnes, God, six personnes. It lasts seven seconds. It lasts seven seconds. Back you go. Five, 
Five people. Cinq personnes, six personnes, huit personnes, dix personnes. Good. Don't get it in your brain, get it in your mouth. Save me 25,000. Vend 5,000. I'm coming for you with a pair of clippers and a marker pen. 25, pronounce the word five properly. Vend 5,000. I apologise, pronounce the word 20 properly. 25,000. Good. Why would V-I-N be any different than C-I-N? Yeah? Yeah, it wouldn't be, yeah. Do I deserve to hear Vent Cinq? You do not I wouldn't not even mind if you had the consistency of Vent Cinq. Okay, <laughs> no, that's wrong, people. That's wrong. Good. Are these errors I've gone over before? Many times. Good. Off you go. Brendan. Luke, I've just imagined what your life looks like. I've just imagined what your life looks like. Luc, je viens de imaginer. Link, 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 you've been warned before. De verbs. What are my four words that I gave you, Brendan, that you don't jump ahead on? De and what words have you got to think of the next word? They're not the only ones to do this, but the ones I gave you. De and. Que. And. Uh, de que. Um, si. You cunts and I have got a very, we've got a very different concept of what a homework consists of, haven't we? De and que and je and le. Let me hear it. De, que and je and le. What are those four words going to do? Sorry, I apologise for the loss of my tea. What, what are those four words going to do? While I'm making you they say that. Are because they can, con if there's a, a, a word with a vowel, that's completely right. You don't jump ahead until you know what's coming because it could be de envoyer. Oh, d'envoyer. Good. Translate your sentence. Um, what? Uh, J'imagine. Uh, I, yeah. I imagine what your life looks like. J'imagine. J'imagine que ah, still. <sighs> Who knows some hymns? Who could just give me a little round about what faith we have in Jesus? Um, Brendan. Subject, object. Go through the name of each of my five sentences. Mm -hmm. That we have three groups of the red, the blue and the green. Subject, object is your first one. What's the next one? Subject, object, object, subject, um, and then it's uh, subject, pronoun. Subject, object, pronoun, lovely. The next two? No. Um, and then what? it is what? Um, what? when it's not a question. Well, that comes last. What's the first? What, what when it is a question? Lovely. Would you please run through that for the green? How would you say? I eat. I'm going to give you the English because I'm a kind and loving person. Say for me, I eat the cake. I eat the cake. Je mange le gâteau. Le gâteau the cake que I je eat. mange. Le gâteau que je mange. I eat it. Je le mange. What am I eating? Uh, 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 je, je mange. Uh, Qu'est-ce que je mange? You could have had Qu'est-ce que je mange? Que manges-tu? I won't really say Que mange? Um, or Je mange quoi? Je mange I quoi? know what Brendan's eating. Je sais ce que Brendan mange. Gorgeous. On to number two. Don't fuck up. I'm talking about the situation. Je parle de la situation. Nice vowels. The situation I'm talking about. I'm switching the order up, but I'm helping you. The situation I'm talking about. Reverse. La situation dont je parle. Pronoun. I'm talking about it. Je parle. Cunt. It's the red one. Oh, um, sorry. Um, uh, J'en parle. Thank you. What am I talking about? Says Brendan. Uh, 
Je, je parle de quoi? Gorgeous. I know what Brendan's talking about. Je sais ce dont Brendan Good. parle. Good. Well, de quoi sometimes in slangy French. Good. Let's move on to number three. Blue. I'm thinking about the situation. Je pense à la situation. I'm thinking about it. J'y pense. The situation I'm thinking about. Five point star. La situation à laquelle je pense. What am I thinking about? You do uh, not even want to know. What am I thinking about? Uh, je pense à quoi? Claire knows what or who? Claire knows what I'm thinking about. Claire says de à quoi je Good. Pense. So what offends me particularly about that is that it shows that we've done it at length, doesn't it? Yeah. So in other words, if I want a what in a blue, is it going to be ce que, ce dont, or what is my word for what in the blue when it's not a question? Uh, uh, when it's not a question. Uh, so it's quoi. the last one you've just done. It's the number five of the number three. So a, so, so a quoi. Thank you. So a quoi. What's the verb to look like? What's the verb to look like? Uh, Say, yeah, I, I look well, like uh, my grandfather. Uh, je, je I look son... like my grandfather now and he's been dead 20 years. I literally now look like what he looks like now. So say for me, I look like, I look like my grandfather. Je ressemble à mon grand-père? No, that would make it a green verb. It isn't a green verb. It's a blue verb. Uh, What's the preposition got to be, Bren, Bren, if it's a blue verb? Ah. Off you go, I look like my grandfather. Um. Same verb, but make it a blue verb. Make it a blue verb. Same verb, but make it a blue verb. Je... Je ressemble, je ressemble à mon grand-père. Good. Ressemble. Je ressemble, au... non, ressemble. Ressemble. Je ressemble à mon grand-père. Lovely. Je me ressemble à mon grand-père. Non, 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 non. Je me semble, je ressemble à mon grand-père. À mon grand-père, oui. So what's the verb to look like? Ressembler à. Yeah? Ressembler. So say for me, um, you, can, um, you can't imagine what my life looks like. No, so yeah, you've just imagined what my life looks like. You've just imagined what my life looks like. Is it one, two, three, four, or five? Is it subject, object, object, subject, subject, object, pronoun? What is a question or what is a non question? So uh, it's a what as a non question. Good girl. And are we in a red verb, a blue verb, or a green verb? A blue. And what have you just told me is the what is a non question for a blue verb? Ce à quoi? We're now working efficiently in a logic language learning method. Could you now say for me, you can imagine what my life looks like? Tu peux imaginer ce à quoi ma vie verb? ressemble. Good. Ensemble. Isn't that the kind of French we want to be doing? Better. Say for me, you can't even imagine what my life looks like. Ne pas now, I'm not about saying look like. Obviously, in French, we'd say what my, my, my life is like. Okay? Okay? Tu peux pas imaginer ce à quoi ma vie est ensemble. Will you please pronounce that last word properly, not going through the consonants of R, S. Ensemble. I despise you. What is the word I've already given you today three times for to look like? Ressemble. Good. Why do you go to RON? Shall I tell you why? Because it's an R verb. And any time it's an R verb, you guys love to lock down consonants and go familiar. You all go rencontrer, you know, raconter. You get these verbs mixed up. 
Give me the vowel journey, the following verbs, Claire. Just the vowel journey, the following verbs. Raconter, just the vowel, vowel journey. Racon. Do me a vowel oh. journey, please, Claire Bear, of the word manger. What's the vowel journey? Oi. Thank you. Do me the vowel journey of the word chateau. Ah, oh. Vowel journey, not two separate journeys. One journey. Ow. Oh. Good. Don't race it. Ow. Oh. What's the oh. vowel journey of the word fils de pute? Uh, uh, I de Last time I talked vowel journeys, you fuckers all agreed you were going to do this for two minutes every day. This has not been going on. What is the vowel journey of fils de pute? Thank you. You don't not show potential with working out vowel journeys, but this is not practiced. What is the vowel journey of ferme ta gueule? Ferme ta gueule, is that what you said? Yes, what's the vowel journey of that? Uh, uh, Listen to Nikki. Um, there is not an exercise in existence or a podcast, or a video, or anything else that is more useful to take an anglophone and convert them to listening to French than vowel journey. There is simply not. There is nothing that will get you brain into being French more. There's simply not. I want two minutes a day from all of you. Pick up a bloody French book. Go online, read a word. Changement a eu lieu. Change took place. En a eu lieu. Yeah, I'm going to, whatever, switch on, switch off the webcam. Je vais éteindre le webcam. E -a -a -a, e -a -a. Yeah, um, Tom is as tall as Vero, Claire. Vero told me, which is quite exciting. Uh, oh, Tom <laughs> est aussi grand que Vero. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Watch this, right? Watch this. Nathan, say a sentence to me in English, any old sentence. I'm thirsty. I need some water. J'ai soif. Il me faut de l'eau. Et oua. Et oua. Brandon, give me a sentence. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> well, that's standard, my darling girl. Um, uh, je suis <laughs> pas sûr ce que je devrais dire. Il y a eu, il y a eu, il y a that's just a cheap, a quite a trick one with a Yeah, because that's a consonant cluster. Je suis pas sûr, il y a eu ce que je devrais dire. I can do it if I go slowly. But it's like a consonant cluster, so we're not used to not vowing that. Claire, sentence, English. It's freezing cold this morning. Putain, ça caille. Yeah. Claire, now give me the vowel journey. Rencontrer. Vowel journey. Oh, eh. Good. Vowel journey matches the syllables. Rencontrer. Oh, eh. oh. Try and link them a bit more, but as many syllables. Uh, Nathan, vowel journey. Raconter. Raconter. Vowel journey. Oh, eh. Good. Um, Brendan, se, se rendre compte. Se rendre compte. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Two minutes a day on this, or don't come back. I mean it, don't come back. Don't come back. There's no point. I can't do what I do unless you guys get into vowels. When you're like, wreck it, wreck it, wreck it, wreck it, wreck it, Nothing is going to transform your ears more, my darlings, than doing vowel journey. Nothing. Nothing. Because people speaking vowels, you know, okay, good. A couple more from each of you, then we can chill. Um, Claire. Luke, you're right, I should have done it. Tread carefully. Luke, you're right, I should have done it. Uh, Luke, tu as raison, uh, je devrais du... I should have done it. Uh, J'aurais pu. I should have. J'aurais pu, non. 
should have, should have, j'aurais dû. Oh, j'aurais dû te le faire. J'aurais dû, dois-y, 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 J'aurais dû faire ça. J'aurais dû le faire. J'aurais dû le faire. J'aurais dû le faire. And again? J'aurais dû le faire. And again? J'aurais dû le faire. Good. Uh, Claire, um, I'm going to practice. I'm going to do what he said every morning. I'm going to do what he said every morning. Uh, je vais faire ce que il a dit chaque matin. Good. Now notice if we do a vowel journey. Chaque matin, un, 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 chaque matin. And when we reintroduce consonants to vowel journey, it's gentle. It's not chaque matin, it's chaque matin. So we want the feeling of a vowel journey in our normal French. Yeah? So off you go. Uh, je vais faire ce que il a dit chaque matin. That's softer and nicer, isn't it? Now try and go qu'il a dit ce qu'il a dit what he said je vais faire ce qu'il a dit je vais faire ce qu'il a dit je vais faire ce qu'il a dit oh sorry je je vais faire ce qu'il a dit chaque matin good Nathan um, it's a little it, um, to manage it, I'm going to have to copy him. To manage it, I'm going to have to copy him. Pour lui gérer, je... No, we've been over this. To manage it, as in to be able to do it. What are my verbs to manage it? Oh. Pour... What are my three verbs to manage to do something? Pouvoir le faire. Lovely. Or? You all need an arse whipping. Arriver à le faire and réussir à le faire. Yes? Yes. Go on then. Pour, arri pour arriver à le faire, no, je No, I said to manage it. Pour y arriver, je vais uh, devoir... So, pour y arriver, c'est to manage it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to have to copy him. Je vais devoir le coller. Co copier. Copier. Okay. Je vais And devoir again? le copier. And again? Pour y arriver, je vais devoir le copier. What's the vowel journey of to manage it? I'm going to have to copy him. Pour y arriver, ou y arriver, je vais devoir le copier. Let me show you a, a secret. If you're pushing on your chest and you speak through the center, you will feel you're going on the same journey twice. So, you won't feel you're having to work it out the second time. Um, um, I'm going to have to go to the shop. Je vais devoir aller au magasin. Yeah? The, the smaller your consonants, not consonants are, bien alors je vais devoir aller au magasin. It's the same feeling. Yeah? I can't tell you how much I want to hear this improve next week on this. Good. You do vowel journeys, you link. You link, you remember. You remember, you don't need to think about grammar. End of. Good. Well done. Uh, if you've watched this video online, there is a coffee link underneath. All coffee is greatly, gratefully received. These people pay me coffee separately. Um, any podcast, please email me. Uh, the link will be underneath as well. Good, 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 good. If you think that you're at their level and you'd like to come and give them a run for their money, then by all means come along as long as you promise to listen and um, pay attention and give them a proverbial kick up the arse. Very, very welcome. Um, <laughs> email me about that. Take care, guys. Speak soon. Bye, 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 bye. One second. Uh...